bought this 59 quid one terabyte ssd great um i did salvage another ssd we'll come to that in a minute and then I'm, this is the top fan on top of the cpu knocked you a uh, 120 mil fan great fancies are not your ones and then a smaller one for the back to blow some air in or out i can't remember which way i set it on what else got a bit of ram now this ram's a weird one i salvaged it from a previous computer it's not quite as good as it could be it's 4800 but does the job and then the keyboard really cheap and cheerful wireless keyboard to go into it and that's it and put that all together and i got this and it was a total of about 1090 pounds it probably you could probably do this cheaper and i was just said to title of the video i mean you, you can get it for a grand but yeah so it's great form factor great size and then this is what it's got it, rear io panel there you've got some usb 3.2 um c you've got two 3.2s a's hdmi this is all built in and then you've got on the front you've got some more usb 2s breakouts and recent power and yeah here we go and accessing it's really simple pull the front off and you can get into the front part of it and you can see that's a graphics card the front of the graphics because you have to be careful with this with the size of the graphics card and getting in and out of the case is super simple you just either side when I mean, the other side doesn't matter because it's backed onto the cpu just take that off and you can see look at the size of the um, power supply in there it's gigantic it fills up like quarter of the case or more than quarter of the case and then the behind there so i'll take that i'll take out the psu in a minute and have a look is the the motherboard so there you go that's the there it is i'm going to pull the power supply out for you i've stabilized it look the background's wobbling so we'll pull the power supply out and then you can see the rest of the motherboard i mean it's a really small build i didn't want a big computer i wanted something that was quite small that sat on the ground and basically there's some functionality in this that i really liked because i always have like windows installed just because we have, i work on a mac we have Windows installed just in case on one of the SSDs. And I salvaged another SSD, and that SSD is the one I always use for a Linux installation. And I'll show you something at the end, which makes jumping between distros really, really simple. Um, if you looked at a lot of my other videos, I'm always making scripts and things for other Linux distributions. And this, having this set up, it makes my life so much easier to just jump between distros. Admittedly, with this, it's really hard to go back in and do something as you'll see in a minute when i get the eight the power supply out it's very hard if you want to get in and put more ram in or do something i don't know change the ssd you can't do that so here we go it's a bit of a beast get it out 